Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Backwoods Blonde. It is 2.30 in the morning. We are headed to Saskatchewan. Um, solo trip. My first ever 13-hour drive alone. Um, pretty stoked for it. I um, was blessed enough to be able to draw a spring archery um, last-minute bear tag for a cancellation hunt. Um, we got long drive ahead of us. I think I have everything. I feel like I'm definitely forgetting something, but it's okay. I got my bow, I got my release, my wallet, I got my passport. That's all we need indefinitely. So, thanks for coming along on this journey with me. Um, I'm hoping to take out on one of my goals is a giant Pope and young black bear. Otherwise, um, one of my other goals was a cinnamon too. We're gonna keep an eye out, gonna keep praying, and we'll see what we can get done. Alrighty, we're about three hours into the drive. It's a gorgeous sunrise. Just jamming away, listening to music. Probably gonna stop and get some breakfast here shortly in Fargo. The route is taking us through North Dakota to get to the border, so... Okay, well, um, the diesel is fueling the truck. I would like to thank my fuel for the day. Um, it's by On Target. This is my by far favorite um, energy supplement that you can put into water. Um, it's the Tiger's Blood. This one tastes like watermelon. They do have a blueberry flavor too. That's what it looks like. Just a simple packet, just like that. Just put it into your water and mix it up. It's so good, it keeps me fueled throughout the entire day, entire hunt. Whatever you need energy for, it's got you on target. Alrighty, well we made it through the border just fine, no issues. Um, they were surprised I was hunting with a bow. I mean, I guess I can understand that, but <laughs> he's like, are you sure you don't have any firearms? I'm like, pretty sure. Rodheads over bullets, baby. <laughs> anyway, got about seven hours left. Um, maybe stop for lunch here in a little bit. Don't have any service on my phone, so kind of just uh, taking in God's country here and to camp soon okay this is stop i think number three so far we have about three hours left i got a bagel finally nowhere was open mm. i got some more coffee i'm so stoked right now they got people to pump your diesel for you like this is high class canada is nice just packing up the ice right now got about an hour and a half drive left not all my ice fits in this giant cooler so we're gonna put some in this one it's like gale force winds right now it's probably like 45 mile an hour winds They don't have any ice there, so I got 14 bags. Hopefully that's enough. That is the sign that I've been waiting to see for the last 14 and a half hours. We made it, just pulled in. Dad's texting to check in on me. What timing? 
we are here. Bear camp, baby. Alrighty guys, well we made it into camp. I'll give you a little tour of my mega room. So this is my cabin. Cute, simple, my bow, my good luck charm right here. We have a bunch of uh, older fellas that are regulars that come every year and this is my room. I like the window. Really all you need is a bed, so they're making us meals. Yeah, just here to shoot a bear. Let's get it done. It is day number three, raining again. Um, I think it's been raining like three quarters of the time I've been here, but that's okay. Definitely not gonna complain about the rain because of the severity of the forest fires here lately. Um, I know there's a big one in Manitoba. Um, they just got done with one um, up a little bit northern Saskatchewan, I think. Um, so yeah, we're just making the best of it. Uh, day one, minimal activity. Day two, uh, we saw that one little guy last night at about 4.30. Um, and day three, we got coming up uh, the evening sit tonight. We've just been sitting evenings right now. It's what they're recommending. So, yeah, it's about uh, 11 a.m. And we ate some breakfast. And now I'm just going to shoot a little bit. For some reason, my shoulder hasn't really been up to par lately. So we are going to stretch her out. 
This is my little range I got here. Shot through the middle right there. Meaning, I made one little hole right through the middle. Right there. And it looks like she's back here. So, I got my full set of 12 arrows made by Cameron Field Cam's Custom Shafts. Um, we still got using the same arrows, uh, the VAP TKOs, the 400s. Then we got the Silent Night veins. I will be shooting the white veins though. Hopefully gonna paint one red, so. Hey! Hi, buddy. Hi. How are you? You don't scare me. No. You don't scare me. Yeah. You're a cutie. I'm waiting for the big guy. Good morning, everyone. It is 6 a.m. Day number four. I'm in the truck right now because this is the only place that I get one bar of service. And I only get it for like 20 seconds unless I move my phone one way and then it's gone. All the rest, I'm in SOS. Drinking my coffee. We're gonna do an all dayer in the stand today. Hopefully don't need to tomorrow, but pending. If we get a bear or not, then we'll sit all day tomorrow too. It's not raining yet today, it looks like. So, first day in uh, three days that it hasn't been raining. We'll see if the big boy wants to roll in today. Black coffee has no creamer, which is a good change.
not that bear. He got spooked three times. I came back. I was drawn for a long time because I knew I wasn't going to be able to draw again on him. We just let the arrow fly, boys. I hope it was a good shot. I think it was, it looked good. Might have been a little far back. But I'd rather have been far back than near the scapula. It was a through and through. My arrow was right there, covered in blood. God, please let that be a good shot. I was drawn for a long time, pulling back 54 pounds. I knew I wasn't going to be able to let off and pull back again. I would have spooked him right away. I had to do with what I got. He came back to the Fruit Loops and I let it fly. Alrighty, guys. I'm just going to reflect a little bit about this week. Just because this has been... I don't even know how to explain it. Indescribable week for me. Drove 15 hours all by myself. Ended up absolutely no service. My little room all to myself. No social media. No nothing this week. Me, this tree stand, these woods. Absolutely no service. Barely talking to anyone, even my dad. Quick phone call. It is day four. And I had tomorrow during the day and the night to hunt. And I was, I had a good feeling about night three. I didn't want to take out on the first night. I mean, I'm not, beggars can't be choosers, but I didn't want to take out on the first night. I, I came here to enjoy it. I want to enjoy the outdoors. Just this fresh air, getting away from everything. I feel like everyone needs to experience that at some point in their life. And I was blessed enough to be able to come here and I just connected with that big boar. I'm still new to bear hunting, but I watched a lot of videos. I had a long drive time, so we'll see what happens. If it's a sow, it was a big sow. Um, the shot looked good. I've been, this is hour number 13 today in the stand. My camera that I normally have facing the barrel is dead. I couldn't get any footage of that. I almost set my phone up, but I did not have time with how skittish this bear was. This camera's almost dead. I have both of my portable chargers. I had them running. Um, I can't get down to go fix the other one, you know. So I, I kind of just took the loss with that one, but I'm blessed I even got it. something inside me. God told me that he was gonna come back when he left the barrel, and then he came back, and then he left the barrel again. I knew that he wasn't gonna come back after that. I had a feeling, so then I took my shot. I waited until he put both feet forward. He took two steps, and then I let it go. My arrows passed through. It's completely full of blood. I could see it dripping blood from here. That's why I shot my white fletchings. So, I don't have any service. I have my walkie-talkie, but I don't think it reaches that far unless they come to the end of the wood line, which is really far away, so. Just gonna sit here and reflect for the last uh, about half an hour of light we have here and thank you God for that. You would never, ever, ever fail to amaze me. And another thank you to my lift. That's kill number two for us. We got our turkey, we got our bear, hopefully can't speak too soon. I didn't hear the death moan, but he went pretty far. Um, I, th I don't know. Also, my hearing is not very good, truthfully. So um, he could have done the death moan, but it's raining again for consecutively about four days now. It's hard to hear anything. So this lift is incredible. Absolutely incredible. All these layers on, I was kind of scared. It was kind of pushing against me, but there's nothing I could do. It's 35 degrees and raining out here. I got to wear my fanatic stuff. I, there's just, there's just obstacles around everything. So, alrighty guys, I'll wait for them to get here. My headlamp's charged up and I hope you see a dead bear soon. Alrighty guys, we're headed back to the woods. 
woods to find my bear. Alright, we'll get him. We'll tracking my bear looking for first blood. I think we're getting close. Is he alive? <laughs> Come here, I want a hug. There Why? ain't even, because there ain't even a handshake on this yet. <laughs> oh, I love you. Is he dead? He's dead. I really? love you. I love you. <laughs> That's awesome. Congrats. There he oh is. Oh my gosh. It's a nice you one. found him. A, like oh my gosh. It's a nice one. Losing faith in me? Come on now. Oh my goodness. Are you happy? Yeah. How happy? I'm happy. <laughs> it's bigger that, than me. That's that's a very nice bear. Here, yeah. take a picture. That's right. That's right. Kid. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they start getting heavy. Look at those paws. Compared to my hand. I stand at the back and say, oh my gosh. Right. It's a big so bear. That way. <laughs> Look at the noggin on that care. guy. Oh my gosh. 21 inch skull. No, that was three something. Marks? Yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh. Buzz's no. Buzz's was 460. Was 460. So. <laughs> that crossed my mind. We had a different article at one time and with plastic tracks on it. <laughs> you didn't have the proper tools to put those tracks. Alrighty guys, here he is. 2024 Saskatchewan Black Bear. First bear ever with my new lift. Thanks to Bear Country Outfitters for everything that they've done. All their help helped me get on this big guy. <sighs> Crazy. <laughs> this is the funnest part is packing it out. <laughs> Yeah, we can get it. Look at this barrel. You pull it from around the tree. So, um, I'm assuming as long as I got it, I just turn it out as... It's going, yeah. It's bit, bit yeah. Okay. Shout out to Crispy Boots <laughs> for the good boots. <laughs> I should just leave a goddamn come along, $50 come along here with a uh, <laughs> strap. Yes. And, and he goes, and, a half and he goes, and he goes, not a eight and three quarters, like a fifth. Twenty. Once the skin, once the skins, skins off, eight and three quarters. It'll be, it'll be the nineteenth. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm good. Yeah. So no problem making a No.